Have you ever needed to share a video with only one person or client? Or maybe only a specific group of people? Do you want to learn how? Well, in this week's video VA tip, I'll show you just how to do that. Stay tuned. Hi, welcome back. This is Edie again from the Video VA blog and Virtually in Sync. And I'm going to explain to you how you can share a private YouTube video. So this is my Google account and I'm going to sign in to my YouTube channel. And first I wanted to explain a little bit about um, a private video. A private video can only be seen by you and the viewers that you specifically select. The video will not appear on your channel or in search results if you type in the keywords in that private video up here. Public viewers will not be able to find that video. If you have a YouTube channel, your channel has to be linked to your Google Plus profile or your Google Plus page in order for you to be able to share private videos with others. And once you've logged in, you can share a video from two locations within YouTube. The first location is from the upload page. So we're going to click upload. And this is for uh, you to use in the event that you have not uploaded the video to YouTube yet. This is a video that is living on your computer or somewhere else outside of YouTube. The first thing that you would want to do is to select your privacy settings. And this drop down button for you will probably be defaulted at public. And so if it is at public, you would then just select private. The next thing you would want to do is note here that you can share immediately um, before you've even uploaded anything. And what you would need to do, and this plus sign is a clue, is that it would have to be someone who has a Google Plus profile page. You can put in that person's name and most, pro excuse me, most profile pages are the person's name. Like mine would be Edie Clark, for instance. You can type that in. You can then type in if it's a circle that you want to send it to, meaning that you have a circle of friends or family, or you can actually type in that user's email address. Once you've selected who you would like to share it to, you can then come up here and either click on this button, which will open up a window for you to select a video to add to it, or if you had a video on your desktop, you could just simply drag it over as well. <clears throat> That's the one most simple way to do it. Once you've done that, it will then walk you through the process of um, uploading the video. You can then add a title, you can add a description, you can put tags in, you can do whatever else that you want to do to that video. It is not mandatory that you share from this portion. You can just simply upload it as a private video and then come back on another day and share it and I'll show you that step next. The other method is through Video Manager and you would get to Video Manager one of two ways from this particular page. You can go to the gear icon and select Video Manager or you can cl so click, I can't speak today, you can click on your uh, profile image and you'll see Video Manager here. Either uh, selection takes you to this page and it will be all of the videos that you have uploaded both private and public as well as unlisted. Now what I want you to notice is that there is a column here on the right portion of your screen that says view and there are icons that are beneath it. And each icon represents, there's only three types of icons, each represents the privacy setting of that particular video. So this particular video is set at unlisted and you can tell that because it's a partially open block. This video here is public and you can tell that because it has the world icon. A private video would be a padlock that's closed. So this is one example of that. So I will use this as an example. In order to share this video, I now need to go to the edit button and select the drop down icon and go to info and settings. It will then open up the video on a new page and here 
I will see the privacy settings again. Obviously, this is a private video. And in this box, I will be able to add the names, circles, or email addresses of the individuals that I would like to share this video with. Once I type those names in, I just save my uh, changes and then that person or those individuals will be notified that they have a private video that they'll be able to view. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Now to recap, in order to share a private video, your YouTube channel and your Google Plus account must be linked. You can share private videos from either the upload or video manager portion of your page. And then you will need to add the names, circles, or email addresses of the individuals you would like to see your video. And last, your private video will not be seen in search results or on your public YouTube channel. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you would like to get more information on how I could help you and your video servicing needs, please contact me at info at virtuallyinsync.com or you can subscribe to my channel where I post weekly video tips.